I'm Katie Russ and I'm here at Ewing High School to highlight this week's high school athlete. This week it's Joshua Hughes, a senior captain of the Ewing Blue Devils. It was right here at the West 96 bus stop where the 19 year old victim was slashed a little after midnight. The four men then fled up Broadway. The New York City skyline could look very different soon after the Planning Commission has given the green light on rezoning nearly 200 blocks affected by abandonment in an overwhelming 12 to 1 vote. The football season has just begun and players have gathered to toss the old pigskin around with friends both new and old. Let's see what else Philadelphia Sport and Social has to offer besides scoring a touchdown on the field. So I've been busy here at the Lighthouse Farm making some new friends. You guys want to say hello? Hello! We're going to see just how much the $75,000 grant from Walmart is benefiting the community and its healthy eating habits. This is one of our favorite segments right here on Fox 29 Weekend, introducing a member of our team of junior reporters. There are some of the best and brightest student journalists from around the area. This week, we've got Caitlin Russ from Ryder University joining us. We were just chatting about clothes and you working at Century 21 and loving all things fashion, and then you got to do a story about it this week. Yes, you have to dress to impress in the work world, so Career Wardrobe is helping women with that because it can be very scary entering the work world. Um, not knowing what to do and feeling alone. So Career Wardrobe is preparing the women with the proper tools they need to succeed. And I find it so refreshing to see these women become so empowered. I love this, what you found out. Instead of BYOB, we all know that, BYOD, what is it? Right, it's bring your own dog to brunch. So it's a very different brunch and it was an awesome event. I had a lot of fun, especially because I'm such a huge dog lover. So it was really crazy seeing the dogs eating better food than I do on a daily basis. Forget BYOB, the latest trend in Philadelphia is BYOD, and yes, the D stands for dog. Square 1682 is offering a gourmet brunch for you and your dog this summer. I spoke with executive chef Caitlin Mateo about how this unique event came about and what it entails for the guests and their furry four-legged friends. So what we decided to do was a little brainstorming session and how we could incorporate everything that was really special to us, um, like animal welfare. So we came up with BYOD, which is, of course, bring your own dog to brunch um, for outside dining, and we make a special brunch menu for dogs. It includes a couple cocktails for humans and then uh, five dishes for dogs um, and a portion of all those proceeds go to a beneficiary that this year is Lulu's Rescue. It's really nice to be able to bring the dog and he's a rescue so it's nice that a percentage of our brunch goes back to a, a nonprofit that helps dogs. The mission here is to not only fill the stomachs of the guests but to fill the homes and hearts of people looking to adopt dogs like Melody over here. Lulu's is somebody who's local, somebody who's close in our area of a smaller caliber that maybe, um, you know, our donations would really help out. Lulu's is a foster home based rescue. We've been around for five years. We've saved over 1,500 dogs from uh, high kill shelters across the country. Um, our primary focus, though, once we get dogs off of uh, death row, is to be able to have conversations with the guardians and the new owners about the importance of spay neuter. We are just getting started and they are the, the uh, response today has been tremendous we have some applications already in for dogs and people learning about our mission which is really the most important thing oh I love this finding forever homes for those animals so this is every Sunday yes it's every weekend actually this summer Maybe Every weekend this summer, right mm -hmm. over at Now Square. How much fun. Mm -hmm. I love the story. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And if you have any ideas for junior reporters, just use our hashtag Fox29 Weekend. That's it. Go. Coming in at 6 feet, 6 inches, and 295 pounds, Joshua Hughes leads the team with 11 pancake blocks as the offensive tackle of the Ewing Blue Devils. They are currently 4-3 this season, winning their last game against West Windsor South in a stunning 35-6 victory. Basically, my role in the game is just to keep the offensive line going, make sure everybody's positive. Somebody makes a bad play, pick them up. Running back or quarterback gets tackled, I go up to them, pick them up right away, make sure everybody's all good. The team is my family. Uh, you know, we spend a lot of time with each other in the weight room all year round, uh, so they mean a lot to me. They're like family, like brothers. He is our rock on the offensive line. I mean, we're, we've had some success this year running the football and throwing the football, and it starts up front. And when we talk about up front, we usually talk about Josh Hughes. The kid plays hurt. The kid does everything you ask him to do. Uh, he does 
whatever is needed for the team. He's a very good guy. He's always there for us whenever we need him. And I really couldn't think anybody else better to be captain than Josh. Although Josh plans on playing football in college, he has other goals he dreams of accomplishing, including earning his Eagle Scout badge. Uh, well, it's in the works now. I'm uh, doing it at the local Rosedale Park. I'm putting bat boxes in because uh, uh, recent disease, you could call it, uh, affected them and killed thousands of them. So they need a new place to habitat. If I don't get a scholarship, my plan is to go into the Coast Guard and do an ROTC program and uh, I'm looking to go to college for some sort of forestry or uh, wildlife management. To be able to stand out is really important to me, and you know, but I'm not anybody special, I'm just me.